this last trip to LA, I didn't quite film daily vlog stuff, really got caught up in a lot of other things and tried to capture moments that were really cool and uh, different kind of people that I met. And today, what I'm showcasing is somebody that I've spoke to quite a bit over the last couple years, but never met in person. And uh, that's uh, Lacey Mackey. Lacey Mackey is one of the three owners of Cape Man Coffee, and I had a really cool day to get to hang out with her or do some podcasting. She's really rad. We got a chance to train together at Deuce Gym in Venice while we were spending the week there. Just getting a little bit of time in the gym to kind of get to know each other. We'd, we'd actually only spoken for about 15 minutes up to this point. And I uh, went to the gym to go ahead and duke it out. And then moved into some, some push press with uh, with Brock. Pretty excited to see Brock actually lifting. So, you know, he's been my camera guy with the Drift to Lift a series and some various other projects that we've done over the last four years. And in the last year, he's built a home garage gym and has started lifting. Now, Brock doesn't pursue any string sports per se but has been rock climbing pretty avidly and uh, is really excited about the progress he's finally seeing in his uh, actual rock climbing from the weight training that he's doing. The gym work that we did that day was 12 triples, it's speed work, I just was following where Brock happens to be in the destroyer program and uh, it was a lot of fun just getting to kind of lift with him. I don't think he and I have actually trained together. Typically he's on the other side of the camera and so it wasn't that type of a trip where we were filming everything. We were there for a little bit different reason to kind of edit some stuff and work on some different projects. And this just happened to be one of the training sessions and so we, we packed the camera. It's pretty hard to beat training outside on a great day like this, uh, you know, right in Venice Beach. But it's this type of stuff that is becoming more and more you know there is part of the gym right and and the training is always going to be there that's never going to go away so getting to share some time in there and actual physically train and you know, that that's a bit that we already know and we already get and that's important to us moving on to deadlifts with the same type of thing 12 sets of three i think we were at a 65 uh, percent i believe is what the the subtotal the, the percentage of the day was going to be pretty easy stuff um I'm still really getting a feel for deadlifting again. I've done the 600, but repetitions are another thing and how they uh, fatigue the knee is another bit of business there as well. Uh, one thing I've been adding a lot is a lot more walking around, trying to make sure that I'm getting a lot of time just cruising. Um, but I'm very, very happy with how things are moving. These, Everything feels slow right now because I'm not used to doing things explosively or nearly as explosive as I was over the past couple years that I've been training, but I was pretty happy after looking at the videos to see how well this weight actually moved. It's, it's the relationships, it's the travel, it's meeting new people that are kind of on the same path as you. And it's about finding those people that are you know, on the same trajectory that you can learn and pull things from. You know, it's never gonna always just be that you're the big shot. Hell, if you are, find new people to be around. But you also don't want to be so far behind that you don't have anything to offer the people that you're dealing with. And so I just want to find other like-minded people and peers and things like that that I can learn from and feel motivated talking to and have something to share with them and something that we can have like a mutual relationship and friendship and something to build from. Lacey's one of those people, super, super interesting. You guys should enjoy the UMSO podcast that comes out when that does come out. Sitting down to podcast with Lacey was really, really great. I'm excited to share this episode with you guys. Apparently, I'm excited about a lot of things. But she's rad, and just the amount of effort that she's put into things and the direction that she's got and then big picture vision, um, man, I'm, I'm pretty blown away. You guys should check her out and follow. I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming episode of the Um So Podcast. And it's been a lot of fun getting to focus on something different other than video content. Meanwhile, still just having a different way to share these people. But talking about life and life experiences and what roads led us here. 
you know, that's the interesting part, right? That we've all been on different unique roads, but what actually led us to the point where we're talking is what's interesting. How did we cross paths and how did we get to being at a certain point in a certain time together? Um, so very, very interesting story. Super, super motivating to be around. She is super sharp. She is rad. She is a go-getter and does all those things. She <laughs> works her ass off and uh, I'm just trying to learn, man. I'm trying to learn from those around me that are doing a better job than I am. Lacey is one of those people and I just want to say thanks to her and Deuce Gems for having us out in LA. And uh, it was a really great trip. Um, this was one of the couple people that I got a chance to sit and talk to. So, hope you guys enjoy a little bit different style vlog for the next couple. Spread hate, always party.